Hello fellow YouTubers, this is yet another airsoft review brought to you by King D 3001 and I'm going to be reviewing the JG G36K. Now I will start off from the weapon and work my way to the end. First thing you'll notice is that this is a King Arms Mark 23 suppressor with real trades that I got off of air excuse me castaway.com for around thirty eight dollars it is foam filled this does not come with the gun these are UTG long reel kits that you can get off of airsoft GI for twenty five dollars um, next you'll notice is that the top rail is no longer stock I removed that and put on the G36 star flat rail kind of like what you may see in Call of Duty 4 it has MP7 backup iron sights. Really nice feature there. I did that. See if you can notice in the light that I painted the front sight green for better target acquisition. On the front of the weapon here is my King Arms style. Aim point replica. It's a really nice aim point. I really like it. Looks really good on this gun. Um, some other features um, is the uh, homemade cheek rest that I did myself. I went to Lowe's and got some pipe foam, and it gives it. You, you lifts your head up to give you better eye relief for a better tar again better target acquisition. Also, I put a. Uh, a, a custom little logo there, just to, because you know, whoever owns this gun, you know there's, unfortunately, it doesn't have any logos, so I'll take you to the uh, switch over here, as you can tell, it's got a really nice positive click, and it, they must have fixed this because this model doesn't have the slot like my old G36C did, um, here's the, uh, one point sling, that I use, uh, excuse me, attachment that I use for my one point sling. Um, I guess the various metal parts on this gun would be this here, this button to release the stock, the uh, stock assembly, the trigger, various screws along the body, the uh, charging handle, my suppressor, the barrel, these rails, my aim point, these sights. What I was trying to aim for when I was doing this here is aiming to make it look like the German Special Forces KSK G36. Now, with the stock fully extended from the tip of this flash hider to the end of this uh, stock here, this weapon measures at right around 37 inches. With the stock folded, the weapon measures at 29. Now, here's a nice little feature here that if you pull back the charging handle, and then push down, it'll hold back to allow you to adjust your hop up, which is a really nice feature that I like. Um, this has been a really good gun. I would say max range is right around 200 feet. Um, I tested this with the Team SD .20 gram BBs. Accuracy, I'd say, would be right around 160 to 150 feet. I will be doing a shooting demo later on in part two of this review. But I wanted to get this up. Sling point on the front, I forgot to mention, as well as full metal. Um, this gun is definitely good for those who are ambidextrous. As you can see, it has switches on both sides. The uh, high capacity mag, I, I hear, has been a problem for some people, but I've had no issues with this mag. It, it feeds really well. I've got three others like it, and I've had no problems with it. It's not really a 470 round magazine. It's more like 450 and feeds right around 300 and, excuse me, 430 rounds reliably. Um, I did take the gearbox out of this and found out it has plastic bushings, and a plastic spring on but that, don't let that fool you that it's still a good gun. Um, I've gotten a lot of kills with this gun. I've had it for 
several months now with no mechanical failures or issues, no jam ups. Um, the battery is stored in here, but I'm not going to take that off because I have to unscrew this suppressor and it's just aggravating. Now this will fit a 9.6 volt battery. The biggest I've found that you can get in there is the Intellect 9.6 1600mAh nunchuck battery. Again, I will be demonstrating the rate of fire in a second part of this review. I just wanted to do this this review here to just get it out there and show everyone how nice of a gun this is. The thing that's different about this gun compared to my version 2 G36 is that the body on this is, is like an amber. If you can see in the light, it, it's kind of an amberish color. It's not like, you know, it, it reflects a little bit, but my other one was really glossy. This one's got a nice, like, anti-slip texture on it. It's like a that's matte finish. It's not as glossy as the other body is and then everything. This is the uh, shell deflector and all your stock catches. Well, if you have any comments, questions, post them down there. Leave them for me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you enjoy this review.